All right, last time we talked a bit about the NPP functions and, and basically how those static fun where those static functions are and how they start getting called. One thing that's important to realize is that one of the key pieces to Firebreath is that I'm trying to take NPAPI, which is really a C API, and create an object-oriented framework around it. So wherever possible, I'm trying to use good object-oriented practices, etc. That's why after we create the plugin, we call plugin init. So let's go look at the NPAPI plugin object. The NPAPI plugin object has some really familiar looking APIs here. You'll notice these are exactly the same APIs that we had in NPAPI plugin module, except without the NP, NPP underscore, and we don't have a new or a destroy. That's because new is the constructor and destroy is the de destructor. There's also an init that's used as kind of an intermediate constructor. So basically, with all of these NPP functions, as soon as we know what this instance is, we can then forward it to the correct object because we pull it out of the holder. So instead of just using that, well, uh, and instead of just you know using a, a raw C API, we unwrap the object and we call the correct method. So when that's uh, when that sets up, we're going to get the plugin name and description from the factory. And then we're going to, you know, this also extends FP browser plugin, which is actually where the plug your plugin object that extends plugin core gets created. Then we have things like set ready, which uh, which is going to call plugin main, which is your plugin, and tell it to, uh, that it's ready. That's where the unloaded callback gets called from. Get scriptable object that says, okay, get the root JS API and return it back. This is called, by the way, from get value. Get value is a pretty important one to understand. It, that's where the, it gets the plugin name, the plugin description. Well, it actually gets this from resource files on Windows usually, but this is one place that it can. And then the scriptable NP, NP object. So that's the root JavaScript object. It gets this way. And that uh, gets in get JavaScript object. Shutdown is called in order to provide a, a place to shut down threads um, so that we can be sure that the object is not actually getting destroyed yet. So when shutdown is called, it clears the window and it calls shutdown on plugin main. Init uh, is where we pull out the params and then we set the params on the plugin. That's where when you use m underscore params to get the param tags, that's where it comes from. And then depending on uh, whether the uh, anyway, this is also where we determine whether it's a windowless plugin or not. After init finishes, that's where we call set ready. Set window uh, doesn't do anything in the platform agnostic version of NPAPI plugin, but there is a Windows, a Mac, and an X11 version of NPAPI plugin, and that's in the plugin auto class. Um, and then also down here, you've got some browser stream stuff that, again, I'm not going to go into. We have print, which is totally unsupported currently. Uh, we need to add support for that someday. Anyway, so those are the basic plugin entry points that the browser is going to call. And, uh, and that's kind of where we're going to start. So this one's a little bit shorter, but I want to stop there because we've kind of covered that topic. And next, we're going to look at how we talk back to the browser and at the NPAPI browser host object.